Hello again, Pirates. Uh, this is part two of a series of three videos about building wardens. In the first video, I covered the countermeasured version. This is about the missile version of the warden. Again, it's a hull that takes naked six days, three hours to build. It's very resource and titanium intensive. If you don't have that much titanium and it's hard for you to acquire it, the only option you have is to build it in the regular shipyard, but it's going to take six days out of that and you're probably busy building manticores and that kind of stuff, so better get the titanium. The Warden is a hull optimized for countermeasure, explosives and penetrating weapons, as you can see for based on all the basic stats of extra range and extra reload and remote targeting for missiles and mortars. It comes with a decent deflection already on penetrative and explosive damage. As a defender, it has uh, good thermal imaging. Uh, some missiles, like model missiles, can, uh, equipped gluttonies, for instance, can still outrange it. And it has some special abilities, like the launch override. If you're using the High Guard Warden, the flagship, it has some other special abilities here. And if you have it, I recommend you build it as either a mortar or a missile version as I'm going to show it here. So again, let's get started with the easy part, the armor. I'm going to start with MC Play 2. You can use one if you want. I'm going MC Play 2 for the ballistic deflection since it natively doesn't have any. And already has plenty of explosive deflection. The missiles will further buff this one. Next up, let's put some radioactive, corrosive, and concussive deflection with the D6U. And my third plate for evade, it's D2E armor. So that's it for armors. I have two favorite modules to put in these uh, ships. One of them is the engine disruptor, as I shown on the countermeasure version. I, can, I could use the same one here, or my other favorite option is the microwave dampener. So if enemies are trying to blast through your ship without killing it, this one will ensure as long as they are in the pink aura, they will do less damage. They'll do 40% less ballistic damage, 40% less explosive damage, 30% less penetrative damage. So gives you an advantage. I'm going to use this one, Microwave Dampener. Again, you could use Engine Disruptor 2 or that brand new module, very few people got less bounty, that puts away fire fields. I don't have that one, but it's an option as well. I always put a Lockdown Rocket on my guard, so this one will be no different. I'm putting a Lockdown here. Again, to slow attackers down, I just really like having that option. And now missiles. This is a missile hull. Um, the best option for damage, for just doing damage, is the D55X because it has that over damage thing guaranteed 636 no matter what you do. When Kixai announced that, they said the over damage happens per damage type dealt. The D55X deals both penetrative and explosive damage as you can read in the stats over there. So if kickside didn't screw up, you're doing two times that over damage. So you're doing per missile 636 penetrative, 636 explosive, and it reloads real fast in five seconds. Plus, has a flak evasion of 30%, so it's to an extent immune to phalanxes and sprints and whatnot. I could put all of it, and it's a valid choice. I just want to show you something. There's a new missile in FM. It's the D55M. Same range as the D55X. This one does less damage. It's a bit slow to reload. It's not. It doesn't have any flak evasion. But it has a slow down property. So one option could be, instead of having the lockdown rocket, just having this missile as a means of slowing down the enemy up to 75%. So I could put that on all three slots here, not have the rocket. And you can mix and match them however you want. I mean, if you just want one of those and five of the other one or all of them, it's really up to you. I'm gonna do a mix. Finally, we have six specials to choose. Uh, there are 
two I'm using on my defenders on all of them. One is the tactical insulator against field hostile fields, if you want. The other one is Agility System 4. If you don't have it, use Agility System 3. Now after that, reload this king. It really, it's pointless increasing the damage of these weapons because they'll never be able to overcome deflections such as the one provided by the MC2 plate and your attackers will be using that, so there's no point. What you want to increase is accuracy, reload, projectile speed, flak evade, those ancillary stats. I'm going to start with the special to give range and my choice is the advanced optical tracking because it has 60% extra accuracy and 25% extra projectile speed. If you don't have this one, option two is guided missile system. It's actually 1%, 2% better on accuracy but doesn't have the extra projectile speed. Next up you can pick, if you got it from Bounty or Raid, Precision Missile System, another 50% accuracy, another 100% projectile speed, and like I said, the damage is kind of nice to have, but won't really make a difference against over a million accuracy. If you don't have this special, the better option, the second best option is Carbon Fiber Casing. This one gives you reload of 35% and extra damage. It might even be better you don't get the projectile speed, but you get the extra reload. This one gives you accuracy, so it's kind of a trade-off. you got to pick only one. I'm going with Precision Missile, and I'll tell you why. I'm, I'm not getting the reload, because once I pick this guy, my next special is the one that came with the Warden, the CMXM Reloader. Here's where the reload's going to come from. Uh, you get 45% penetrating reload. This way I get kind of best of both worlds. I get the accuracy and this projectile speed here and I get the reload from there. So one more special and here there are a few good options, not only one. If you're concerned about your, war your wardens dying fast from splash damage, and I wouldn't, you can use ion thrusters for extra evade and extra splash damage reduction. So that's to increase their lifespan. If you want to actually do more damage, you can use Siege Reloader. Now, Siege Reloader has a building damage stat. It's useless in a defender. It's not going to be shooting at buildings ever, but it gives you extra 15% reload. So again, more missiles in the air, more chances of overcoming any countermeasures the attacker has, and doing more damage. That's my recommended setup. I checked other specials. These are the best fit in my opinion. You could question this rocket here, not have it, just have another D55M for the slowdown effect. Again, up to you. But that's the basic setup. If you have a high guard warden, build it like this. If not, just build a warden like that. Uh, in terms of that, damage output's pretty much the same. See you next time. Part 3 will be coming likely tomorrow, if, if I have the time, with a mortar version of the warden. And that's going to be interesting to build. See you next time, parts. Take care.